Welcome to the presentation of the paper Change of IT Equipment and Communication Applications Used by First Semester Students from 2011 to 2020 and Possible Effects of the COVID-19 Pandemic. This is an analysis of a long-term survey at the Graz University of Technology. My name is Sandra Schön and I work within the Educational Technology team. I will today present this paper from our team which was written together with my colleagues, who are Walter Nadler, who is responsible for the data collection of our study beginners survey and the key and first author, Bettina Meyer and Sarah Edelsbrunner, our team leader Martin Ebner and me, who supported the analysis and writing. For 14 years, so, for the first time in 2007, surveys have been conducted annually among TU Graz first-year students. The team of Education Technology at TU Graz has been reporting on the findings regularly since 2009 and have investigated questions that are important and interesting for the university itself as well as the worldwide edtech community. Due to the fact that the 2019 survey results have not been yet published. This report focuses on both the data from 2020 and 2019. The question on equipment and applications used has been asked in a comparable form since 2011, although there have always been little changes in the naming of individual tools. We therefore used and combined the data of all surveys beginning with the data from 2011 resulting in a total of 8,486 records. So our research questions are these. We want to know how the digital equipment of first-year students at TU Graz changed throughout the years. And we want to know how the use of digital communication and social media application changed. Additionally, we added a third question and analyzed if there is a significant change in equipment and communication applications which could be due to the COVID-19 pandemic and related school closures as well distance learning experiences of freshmen in 2020. Do you see more about the participants of the 2019 and 2020 survey? These key indicators concerning students' sex and age are all within the normal range of variation and a slight but steady increase in the proportion of human can be seen in the service of recent years. The professional activity was not queried before 2018 and also appears unremarkable. So let's have a look on the results. In the last nine years, there have been significant changes in the equipment of first-year students at TU Graz, as you can see in these figures. Let's start to have a closer look at the diagram in the center. Since 2011, the majority of all first-year students have had at least one multifunctional device, for example, a desktop computer, a laptop and smartphone. It is noticeable that after 2018, when nearly all students had a smartphone, the new figures show a decline. The situation is similar for desktop computers, which had the highest value in 2013. For laptops, there was a peak value in 2016. In 2020, fewer, namely only 80%, report such ownership. Let's take a look at the operating system providers at the right-hand side of the figure. The analysis shows that apart from a significant low of MS Windows in the desktop computer rate in 2016, the values do not change significantly. Let's look at the left side. In the case of smartphones, on the other hand, there is a clear increase in the number of iPhones between 2011 and 2020 and the decline in smartphone ownership has no effect either. The share is growing steadily. In 2011, 14% of first-year students reported owning an iPhone. In 2020, the figure is 
of 37.7%. It is also clear in 2020 that two of the famous gadgets of the early 2000 years, namely the MP3 player and the classic mobile phone, are of little importance now. While a third of the first semesters owned a classic mobile phone in 2011, only 4.6% of first-year students do so in 2020. However, this development is a real surprise after hardly anyone, so only 1% reported owning such a mobile phone in 2018. Ownership of MP3 players, where the, high, where the highest rate of 72.1% was seen in our first survey in 2007, is steadily decreasing now. In fact, MP3 players are class and classic mobile phones no longer play a role in the equipping of first-year students. For tablets, which has constantly been winning shares among the first-year students starting at 3% in 2011 and a th nearly a third in 2019, a small decrease became apparent in, two th in 2020. So let's have a closer look on wearables and digital equipment of first year students. So in recent years, the survey has also increasingly included the questions of wearables and other digital developments such as internet-based televisions or the use of portable power packs, PPP. The results of these newer gadgets and digital trends are shown in this figure. We want to point out that in the 2020 survey, First-year students were significantly less likely than the years before to report owning, owning portable power packs. So, let's go on to the communication applications. WhatsApp is still unbeaten and email is still at a high level. There have been major changes in communication applications and survey questions over the last nine years, as this figure shows. While the increasing loss of emails as a means of communication and the loss of first place to WhatsApp in 2015 led us to a publication titled Rest in Peace Email in 2016, email now appears five years later as a still consistently commonly used means of communication in second place and at around 80%. The fact that WhatsApp that means a provider-bound communication application is far more widespread, is still an important insight into how difficult it is to reach and communicate with students reliable. So, our next look at social media tools. The coming and going of application is also clearly evident in the social media applications used by first-year students. The already discontinued application Google+, Plus only appeared with for a few years. Facebook has definitely passed its peak in the age group of first-year students. What is striking is that the three newer apps that focus on sharing photos, not so clearly for Snapchat, but clearly for Instagram and Pinterest, have been gaining in importance in the last latest surveys. So let's jump back to our research questions. We already announced that we want to check if there has any sites or insights that the COVID-19 pandemic and related school closures has been an impact um, on the data of the study beginners. So is there an effect of the COVID-19 pandemic that can be seen in our data? And in fact, figures 1 and 2 4 show only one example where there is a significant change and even against the trend. This is concerning portable power packs, so power banks, which declined dramatically between 2019 and 2020, although they had previously increased year on year. There could be two reasons for this. The first could be that power banks are no longer as important to the new technical, technical developments, for example, long lasting batteries of laptops and smartphones, or B, First-year students need power banks less often. Both causes may also have been amplified by the COVID-19 pandemic. For the phase of distance learning at school, for social distancing and curfew, for working from home, many have renewed their technical devices. 
At the same time, power banks PPPs are needed mainly for activities that are beyond the reach of other power sources at home. This should hardly matter. Students at the Welcome Days at TU Graz in 2020, which has taken part at the survey, could already assume that a large part of the courses would be held as distance learning. So, in our view, the COVID-19 pandemic and its effects should therefore play a significant role in this aspect and be clearly responsible for the development of PPP, power banks and for the sharp drop in usage amongst TU Graz freshmen. So, concerning the discussion of our survey, um, please have a look into our paper. At the end of this presentation, I want to share our curiosity about the next survey results. As the 2020 first-year students not yet having experienced the full impact of the COVID-19 pandemic at school, we expect the 2021 freshmen to have significantly different conditions once again. We are looking forward to our next presentation. Hope you too about these results at the next year's Edimedia conference. So, this presentation and the video is available under an open license, which is CC BY International. Our paper will be published in the Edmedia Proceedings, and you find a preprint already at ResearchGate. Thanks for listening to this presentation, and if you have any more questions about our research, our, our, our work, please contact Martin Ebner, the leader of our department, Educational Technology at TU Graz. Thanks a lot.